<laughs> I remember this one. <laughs> oh, stop, France, you found your silly stuff. <laughs> hey. There's a time when you'd have paid good money to see them moves. Oh, well, now I'd rather pay you to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Your dagger, I believe. Oh, stop it, Harold. <laughs> uh, I've missed that laugh. Nice to see you still smiling, love. I've hardly got the energy to be miserable, darling. <laughs> Happy anniversary, love. Happy anniversary. I just wish I wasn't having it in here. Yeah. I want to come and see you, Doc. Oh, Harold, no, you, you know you can't come here. Anyway, you'd look after the Elvis. But it's just that I can't just sit around oh, and... Oh, Harold, I'll be home before you know it. Look, you just carry on looking after yourself. You look after Elvis and they'll look after me. Be over before you know. Where's your dinner? I uh, eaten it. Oh yeah. What did you have then? You know, just some bits and pieces. Harold, we've been married for thirty-three years. I know when you're telling for feast. I'm just not hungry, love. Honestly, just got no appetite. Anyway. What crap are they feeding you there? Well, actually, I'm being very well catered for. It's really good, like a hotel. I'm having cauliflower teas tonight. Mm, cordon bleu, cordon bleu. Yeah, you believe it. What are you going to have then? Harold. Oh, just do yourself some toast or something. Anything. You know, I'll only worry if you don't. I will, honestly. As soon as we're finished, I'll go and make myself some cheese on toast. It'll be fine. I love you. I know you do. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's nice to see you too. Oh. What's that then? Sorry, love. Hello. It's only a plate of bloody cauliflower and cheese. Wow, very impressive. Do yeah. you think you take a photo of it? No one will believe you otherwise. You know, I might just do that. I thought you might. <laughs> What's it like? Oh, I've never been prouder. Hey, steady on. What about the day you married me? Yeah, close second. Oh, you'll be close second and all of you don't tidy away them plates. Ah. <coughs> yeah. I forgot you'd be able to see those. Yeah, I bet you were hoping I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll, I'll so you. sort it later. I'll sort it later. Well, make sure you do. I don't want to come home to a mess. Well, you better stay away a while. <laughs> <laughs> If you remember to take your medication, Harold, that's important. Not yet. Busy. Oh. This didn't just take one go, you know. No, I can believe that. But Harold, you, you've got to take your medication. It's really important. I will. <coughs> hey, you're right. <coughs> <coughs> 
Dot, you're right. I'm fine. I'm fine. We've been married for 33 years. I know when you're telling me poor kids. Where's the doctor? He's busy. <coughs> anyway, it's just a cough. I'll be fine. Well, shouldn't he be busy looking after you? Oh, Harold, you should see them. They've run off their feet in here. You can't expect them to be at my beck and call all the time. Have you checked the marigolds? They should be blooming by now. Yeah. That's something else I've forgotten. Oh, I'll sort Harold. that in the morning. I'll sort it in the morning. It's fine. Oh. They're the big orange ones, right? Yes, you can't miss them. <coughs> Want me to prune them? No, don't you dare. <laughs> You're never going to forget the clematis, are you? No, I'm not. <coughs> Whatever came over you. <coughs> <laughs> you remember to let Elvis out as well. Yes, Dot. Elvis has left the building. Oh, jolly good. I'm very pleased to hear it. So is he. <laughs> well, OK. Look, sorry, love. I'm going to have to go. Well, go. Go where? What, what's Oh, it's nothing, what's going on? nothing to worry about, honestly, darling. They just need to do a bit of a check-up to make sure I'm doing all right. Speak what? to you again tomorrow. Okay, bye, love. Bye. Che what's Dot? What sort of check-up? Dot? Dot? I love you. Hiya, sweetheart. You okay? Oh, the hell, Dot? I've been worried sick about you. How did the checkup go? Oh, it was fine. Just waiting for the results from the doctors now. I'm sure everything's okay anyway. Did you see that thing on the news? Um, you're going to have to be a little bit more specific than that, Dot. Oh, you know, Harold, the thing. I'll send it to you on your email. You'll send it where? Don't be daft, Harold. Your email. Look, I've only just worked out how to turn this bloody thing on and make this thing work. <laughs> right, let me think about this. You have to go into the top right hand corner. Top top right. Top, okay. Oh, sweetheart, you've disappeared. Yeah, then the bloody rabbit hole of technology is where I've gone. Am I back? Yeah, there you are. Right, now then, um, you go down the bottom left-hand corner and type in... Bottom left? Email. Make your mind up. The other left. Yeah, the other left. Type in emails. You got it? Give me a chance. I'm not a bloody wizard. Hey! 
<laughs> What's all this about hot singles dying to meet me in my area? Hi, steady on. I'm not dead yet, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got it, got it. Oh, the stockpiling stuff. What the hell do people need with hundreds of toilet rolls? I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? I can't understand it. You've got enough left, though, haven't you? No, nope. ran out days ago. Resorted to the wet wipes in the cupboard. I've never been cleaner down there. Oh, Harold, don't be so rude. Sorry, Harold. I'm afraid I'm going to have to go again. You know, the doctors in here just can't get enough of me. All right, Doc. I love you. I know you do, you big softy. I forgot to show you my picture. I'll make you one when you come home. Oh, God, Dot, what have they done to you? Honestly, it's not as bad as it looks. Actually, it's made quite a nice change having all this attention. A lot of fuss about nothing, though. Oh, I'm sorry, love. I must look an absolute fright. <laughs> no, no, no. You look as gorgeous as the day I fell in love with you. Turtle's been missing you terribly. Who, Elvis? You've not been calling him Turtle while I've been away, have you? We both agreed. Elvis Horsley. It's a much better name. I know, but he's, he's been getting slower and slower every day and he's getting more and more like a turtle. Well, you've had both your hips replaced. Doesn't make you the Terminator, though, does it? <laughs> I want you to call him by his proper name from now on. Okay, okay. His full name? Yes, his full name. I'm worried about you, darling. Oh, I'd be more worried about yourself if I were you. Those marigolds been blooming. I'm serious, Dot. So am I, Harold. Those plants are to be taken very seriously. I'm only pestering you because you're the one that managed to kill a cactus. Oh, great woman. That was nearly 20 years ago. You're still, <laughs> you're still going on about that. Anyway, he had it coming. He was a prick. <laughs> I love you. I know you do. Let's get this thing connected. Oh, come on. Put this in the water. Yes. Right. 
this track in. Oh, come on, you bloody thing. You'll be bloody worried there for a minute. This is Dr. Anderson from St. Barnabas Hospice. This is Harold. Speaking. It's about your wife, Dot. Oh, God. She's coming home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you.